talk about the feeding crisis is misleading because it gives the impression that the problem of ISIS can be solved exclusively by military means. But ISIS is not just a terrorist group or an army. It responds to the religious, social, and political needs of its adherents, and that is a big part of its appeal. And defeating it means that these issues will have to be addressed as well. So the military defeat of ISIS is a necessary but not sufficient condition for the marginalization of the organization. And I think marginalization is really what we're talking about. That's the best it can be for. So the perception that ISIS is unstoppable must be disproved by a series of military defeats inflicted on it. And I think the events of recent days where Kurdish Peshmerga, assisted by American air power, have um, inflicted a number of defeats on ISIS yeah, are a good start in this direction. But more must be done to pressure ISIS in both Iraq and Syria. We have to provide additional air power to the Iraqi security forces and to the Peshmerga. We have to ramp up the transfer of arms to the Iraqi security forces and the Peshmerga, which is what we've been doing in recent days. And we also have to ramp up the transfer of arms to the Syrian opposition so that we can uh, apply pressure to ISIS in Syria. And, and this is something which the administration has been averse to. So this is a problem. Secondly, we need to isolate ISIS. Um, the U.S. and our local allies must drive a wedge between ISIS and its allies. Um, and in this regard, the, the formation of an inclusive new Iraqi government under Prime Minister-designate uh, Haider al-Abadi may help. Although we'll see. We'll see what kind of government comes out of uh, the government formation process. And we must uh, try to cut off ISIS from their supply of foreign fighters. Um, because the supply of foreign fighters allows it simply to replace its losses. And then finally, the U.S. must work with its local partners to discredit and marginalize the, uh, the ideology of ISIS. Now, in the past, Al-Qaeda was its own worst enemy in this regard, um, constantly overreaching. And we'll see if ISIS makes the same mistake, and in doing so, alienating its base of support through its brutal actions and life. But this can't be the entirety of U.S. strategy. Waiting for the enemy to make a mistake it can't be a strategy in itself. So the U.S. and its local allies must undertake a protracted information campaign to discredit ISIS, but we must also facilitate this process by doing all we can to ensure that ISIS um, is under pressure and lacks resources to govern effectively or to expand militarily. An embattled rump state will have less of an appeal. In the end, the crisis in identity and legitimacy that gave rise to ISIS can only be resolved by Muslims themselves. Our job is to show that the ideology of ISIS is not the solution to the crisis and the problems that we're about.